Hey ya, uh, welcome to Disco Part 2. Uh, I know that I'm doing kind of a brief summary of all of this. I'm not giving you the whole story, but the whole story would take way too long. I just want to give you kind of a taste. Disco Part 2, we're going to fast forward things to the 1960s, and we're going to talk about uh, a dance craze called The Twist. Okay? The Twist was a unique dance for a couple of reasons, okay? Number one, you could do it all by yourself. Number two, parents hated it because they thought it was just uh, like a real sexual dance. And number three, it was more of an ancient African dance than a brand new sensation. Uh, people have been doing this for Afri in Africa for thousands of years. But uh, this is the first time modern society had seen anything like this. And the twist started out on American Bandstand, okay, with Dick Clark. Uh, and then it went on into some of the uh, common people bars and uh, taverns and juke joints with what we're going to call the common people, okay? Now, in the early 1960s, when you talked about nightclubs, you were talking about an elite class. You were talking about people with dough, okay? You were talking about rich white people, all right? And when you talked about bars and things like that, you were talking about the common people. That's where they spent their time. Now, as soon as the elite class got a hold of the twist, they wanted to do it too, and they did. And they did the monkey, and they did the mashed potato, and they did the hucklebuck, and several other uh, dances out then that you could do all by yourself. Okay? Now, something else was going on at this time, and it was called Motown. Now, if you live in Europe, you might call this Northern Soul. If you live in America, this is Motown, baby. And uh, it was hot. You know, this is the first disco, really. The 4-4 beat. This is the first disco that we heard right here. When you're talking about nightclubs in the 1960s with the elite class, you're also talking about LSD, okay? A hallucinogen drug, okay? And you're also talking about rock and roll, okay? Now, rock and roll and LSD went hand in hand in these clubs. People would get high, they would, um, dance to the music okay and as time went on the music got more and more and more serious and harder to dance to when people stopped dancing the club started shutting down now some clubs to survive they did this thing they called going gay okay basically what that meant was they opened their club to gay people all right now Gay people had just gotten rights to be able to go out in public and go to bars and things like that without getting arrested. Gay men used to carry money in their pockets for bail money when they went out to a bar because they figured they'd get arrested and they need to bail themselves out. So a lot of these clubs went gay. So it went back to the common people. More about that in part three. Practice and enjoy.